Hi, my name is Justin Yomok, and welcome back to the CNC Podcast. Today, the deep dive is in the San Diego Padres, who arguably have one of the best, uh, best off seasons. So let's hop right on into it. Uh, the catcher is Austin Nola, super underrated, definitely top fifteen catcher. First base, Eric Hausmo. Second base is Ka Son Kim, a uh, free agent signing from Japan. Third base, you got Manny Machado. Shortstop, you got Fernando Tatis Jr. Left field is Tommy Pham. Center field is Trent Grisham. Right field is Will Myers. And the DH is Victor Carantini, who they acquired from the Cubs this offseason. Starting pitchers, they have Blake Snell, Mike Clevenger, Yu Darvish, Dillinson Lamott, and Chris Paddock, one of the better rotations. The bullpen consists of Ryan Weathers, Drew Palomazu, Emilio Pagan, Tim Hill, Dan Altavilla, Joe Musgrove, and Taylor Williams. One of the top three prospects are Mackenzie Gold, estimated time of arrival 2021, so he's estimated to make it up this year. C.J. Abrams, infielder, estimated time of arrival 2022. Luis Camposo, catcher, estimated time of arrival 2020, so he's on the team, not fully starting yet. I'd say he's probably the third string behind Carantini and Austin Nola. This is a solid team. I like this team. This is probably a top five team. Now, honestly, they're my pick to win the NL. Or it, well, it's been a toss. I've been through the Mets or the Padres. Like I've said, I've said both of my pick. I don't know for sure. You'll have to wait to find out at a later date who my full on pick is. But they're up there. They're one of my choices. Um. Austin Nola, that's a good catcher. That's a top 15 catcher. Uh, Hausmos, however, he's getting up there in age. I don't know if he'll be able to be as consistent as he has been. I just, he's getting older. Everyone knows what he's like. It happens. He's aging. Still solid. I mean, however, you got Manny Machado and Tatis Jr., both studs. I mean, I think Tatis should have been MVP. At least a finalist. Machado was a finalist. Great team, great team. The rotation, they traded for the second best pitcher in the league in Blake Snell, which is insane. They traded for Mike Clevenger, a top 15 pitcher. They traded for you, Darvish, a top, probably top 10 pitcher. And then they already had Dillinson Lamont, who had a breakout year last year. And Chris Paddock, who has always been solid. This is a great rotation. This is probably the best or second best. You can go at it between them and the Dodgers. I personally think the Dodgers have the edge by just a little bit by having David Price coming back. A lot of people may have forgotten or underrated him because he didn't play last year. But because he's coming back, I have it going to the Dodgers. So they, they have the second best starting pitchers in the league. The bullpen is solid. I mean, I feel like Mackenzie Gore is going to help that a lot when he comes up. He'll probably be stuck into the bullpen. Or it will be Chris Paddock going to the bullpen. Either way, the bullpen's getting a good arm. And so... I mean, Joe Musgrove, Daniel Tavilla, underrated, both solid. Taylor Williams is pretty good. Like, it's a solid bullpen. And it's a World Series contender bullpen. They can work with it. Especially when all of their starters can go six to eight innings every game. Like, I'm not worried about pitching at all. What I'm worried about a little bit is the outfield. Tommy Pham is solid. Trent Grisham is iffy. I mean, Will Myers is solid. I mean... It's solid. It's solid, but it could be better. I mean, and I'm also a little worried about first base again. How's one he's getting up there in age? You might want to look to replace him. I mean, honestly, they should try and trade for us. I don't feel like they, if they could have gone after someone like Dexter Fowler, that would have helped immensely, but they were unable to do that. I mean, they're a top tier team. They have a top tier rotation. They will easily have they will easily go deep in the playoffs without a question. They have two star hitters in Tatis and Machado and again I think they signed Ho Son Kim and again I apologize if I apologize if I mispronouncing that name. Probably the hardest name coming out of Japan this year. I mean first it was Otani, then it was uh, I believe the guy who signed with the man is on blink on his name right now. And now it's Hun Son Kim, I think that's solid. I think Otani and Kikuchi haven't been great, but I feel like I feel like he can be great. I mean, he that's what they needed was a second baseman and center fielder, and they went out and signed him. I think he's going to be solid. I think he can easily help this team. I like this team. 
I think they're going to go far. I think that their prospects aren't great, but they don't need them. I feel like they ought to compete now or in, like, 10 years. So, if I'm being honest, I say trade CJ Abrams and Luis Camposano for a piece of a bullpen and a center fielder. You do that, I see them as instant contenders. Like, when I say they're already contenders for World Series, when I say that, I'm saying contenders to win it. They're a great team. Tatis, I think, is going to have an MVP year. Machado, again, I think I think Tatis and Machado will both be finalists this year. I think they'll both finish in top five easily. I think Ha Song Kim is going to finish possibly in top five for Rookie of the Year. I think Austin Nola is going to be good. I think Blake Snell. I mean, I want to say one of the pitchers will win Cy Young, but they're in the same. They're in the NL. There's a man named Jacob DeGrom. He's going to win it like he does almost every year. DeGrom is my pick for Cy Young. He always is. He's an absolute stud. I, however, I do think Blake Snell and Yu Darvish will both finish top seven. This is a very good team, and I think they will be competing now or in ten years. Thank you all for watching the Padres Deep Dive. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for another one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.